So guys, in my last video I made this high voltage aluminium air battery which can get the cell voltage over 2 volts. And to get this cell voltage over 2 volts the cell uses two electrolytes which have different pH which means that on the negative side of the cell is used some alkaline based electrolyte and on the positive side of the cell is used some acid based electrolyte. And these two electrolytes are separated by some membrane which will not allow that these two different electrolytes will mix together. And for this reason if you make some professional cell then in this case you will need to use some ion exchange membrane but if you only want to experiment with this type of cells then of course some cell guard separator will work for some short time or even better some baking paper will do the job because uh, the baking paper is great because you can find uh, this paper in your kitchen really really easily and it's also not so expensive here I have another cell, I mean the cell is made on the same way which I make this high voltage aluminium air battery uh, but this time here I have this zinc manganese uh, high voltage cell which means that on the negative side I use some zinc which is this one uh, on the positive side I use some manganese dioxide and for the positive current collector which is over here I use some graph oil and the electrolyte configuration which I use in this cell is of course on the negative side of this cell which is this one I use 6 mol of potassium hydroxide and on the positive side of the cell which is this one I use some sulfuric acid And here this black one is this manganese dioxide. And I get really easily the voltage of 2.5 volts. And the only change which I make to this cell is of course the membrane. So instead of using some baking paper, I use this one which is actually some terracotta clay and this terracotta clay membrane can be uh, made really really easily at home here I have some another sample uh, where I try to make this uh, clay membrane and this one I make from this material so in my country uh, the brand is DAS terracotta modeling clay and what is really nice by this one is that this one you will find in almost any art store and what is also really good uh, for the hardening you don't need to use some high heat because this one will harden on the air you only need to leave for I don't know more than 24 hours and this one will harden really really nice uh, but the only problem which I get with these clay membranes is of course the thickness so the thickness of these two membranes is of course around 2 millimeters which is actually too thick because thicker will be the membrane less power I will get out from that's it. And now I will just show you some example where I make this kind of uh, terracotta clay membrane. So here I will use this baking paper because this clay uh, can stick really, really well to other surfaces. Uh, for this reason it's really good if you use some uh, baking paper. Uh, also about this one, uh, I'm almost 100% sure if you don't uh, have this brand in your country then you will actually find some alternative to this one. Ok, 
it. So here I have some piece of this clay. And now I will try to make uh, this one thin as possible. And now I will fold this backing paper. Here I have some acrylic pipe. And now I will roll over this clay to make thin as possible. And now I will cut out some piece that I actually need. Something like this. And now this one, I need to leave on open air for a little bit more than 24 hours. And then I will get something like this. Really nice. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video, bye.